We're just talking about Dennis Rodman. Uh, is is what, what were some of the most interesting times of, of covering him back in Chicago? And then, and then yeah, so I covered the second three-peat. I was not the main beat writer. I worked for the Chicago Tribune then. I worked for NBC Sports Chicago now. Um, and I, But I was a sidebar guy and just around that second three-peat. And obviously, you knew you were covering history and you knew you were covering, you know, obviously some of the greatest players in the history of the game and Hall of Famers. Robin was a pretty interesting guy. He he actually was a lot more uh, humble and shy and uh, introverted than his public persona that he used to advance his brand. He was very gracious in interviews, but he did have this kind of quirky uh, habit where he would not often shower post game and he would also not have his media availability at his locker. He would bust out of the United Center locker room and walk down the hallway um, almost like a Madonna, like, you know, celebrity press conference, you know, where MTV, where people are trailing you and stuff. We used to call it the walk of shame because people would be like backpedaling down the hall of the United Center and tripping over camera wires and stuff. So it's kind of a funny memory that we have from the second three feet. Hey there, NBA fans. For exclusive NBA content, subscribe to Fanatics View YouTube down below.